Okay, let's go. Arrow key is not the numpad. Okay. Okay, cool. Talk with mom when she's with you. My mom's in this game? Classic RPG maker experience, right? I want to play it in my tiny little window. He's got like one of those little paper like crowns. Did you guys ever get like the Burger King crowns? I loved those. I used to pretend it was my birthday just so I could get the crowns. I think I think Long John Silver's also had those. Yeah, newspaper hat. Who's there? I'm I'm sure it's just my sleep paralysis demon. No biggie. <gasps> oh, hello. Hey, blessed BK crowns. Ooh, I like their design. Yummy? Oh no! <laughs> Just immediately dumb bad. How'd you get in here? Oh damn, red eye with bandage over one. Peak character design. Your door's unlocked, man. <laughs> oh! Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. It's always with the red-eyed ones, right? It, it's like the, the black color palette with red is just... You, you can't go wrong with the Shadow the Hedgehog palette. <laughs> but they never let me out of my room. Oh. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> Are you okay, Yami? Promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So, how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. Gets really boring sometimes. <laughs> when his eyes are open, he looks like Sunny from Amori to me. <laughs> Especially considering a, a certain ending in Amori. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, well. <laughs> Someone's coming. He <laughs> Sunny changed his name to, to sh fucking Shadow. <laughs> yeah, I just realized. He's got the shadow color palette and his name is Shadow. <laughs> Yummy. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Yummy. <laughs> hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. Why? Do you have, like... COVID or something? I'm not be, I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? It was a Sonic game all along. <laughs> oh yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. What what are you what what, what kind of illnesses are you potentially exposing me to, Yummy? I mean, not that I mind. Cute boy. If I get an illness from a cute boy, then that's just that's just par for the course. Is model change supposed to be on? Or are you just staying like this for the week? Yeah, model change is up for anyone that wants me to change models. But I'm, I'm personally gonna, whenever I start stream, just start with this model. So that is up to other people. <laughs> Maximum security COVID patient. <laughs> Yummy. Where's Yuki? Where'd you go? No, it is not. Mmm. What is that? Oh, that's a humidifier. Yo, fancy. I, I want a humidifier. No? No? No one, no one picked up the phone? 
house plant that looks like it could use some water. Oh, I thought that was a humidifier. It's a plant. You know, you know, honestly, common mistake, honestly. Don't, don't you just mistake plants for humidifiers? I do it all the time. An IV bag filled with a saline solution. Patient number 237. Pe Pemetrex de sodium. 800 milligrams once. 1121. Oh, okay, so this is like when he took his medication. So he takes Pemetrex de sodium, carboplatin. Wait. Oh, okay. He took it on a different day. That's like a. If I'm reading this correctly, that's like a really big gap between taking it. I have so much humidifiers in my room. You have to put water in them for them to work, though. Yeah, I, I used to have a humidifier uh, when I had my cat. Um, I would put it in because uh, my, my cat had, like, problems uh, in the lower end of her... <laughs> in the lower end of her life. Um, so I would have humidifiers on, but I no longer have a humidifier. Oh, uh, that was a watering plants joke. Not very funny, huh? Oh. <laughs> it's like a checklist to get stuff you take on track. Mmm. The cabinet is empty. Treatment guide. An origami hat. It. The door is locked. There's a sign on the door. Read it. Search area 5B. Patient's not allowed beyond this point. Hello? Hello, dear. It's mom. You can call the hospital phones? I didn't know that. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. Aww. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, maybe a call transfer. Mmm. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. Aww. I love you too. Oh, nurse. Hello, nurse. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and I'm walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Well, more like hello doctor, but still. <laughs> Okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. Hey, yo? You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. You know, this reminds me... Also, is it is it loud? Let me know and I'll, I'll turn it down. It sounds a little loud. <laughs> uh, this reminds me a bit of... Uh, back in the day when I when I started like um, doing digital art, I came up with this idea of like a, a, an Atome game uh, set in a hospital. So like all of the... Uh, all the people that you could date... Uh, when the hospital, like, permanently, like, living there for, for one reason or another. And, like, the main character had, like, heart problems. And you had to be careful about, like, who, who, like, your choices because she might get, like, a, a heart attack and die. <laughs> I don't know if this is a breath of fresh air or not with how many shitty fictional moms we've had recently because, oh my god. <laughs> a mother who loves her child. At the same time, it just makes me cry. Yeah, it's so nice to actually have a parent that cares about their child. Oh my god. The 
this morning. The cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. That wasn't me. That was probably Yami. Sounds a bit loud, but just a bit. Okay, I'll turn it down a bit. Okay, there we go. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Yeah, Yami's like, yeah, I'll visit you again when I want to steal more stuff from you. But honestly, valid. Push the call button? Oh no. Let me see. Kinda wanna see what happens if I push it with the doctor in here. Is she gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? I'm already here. <laughs> Hello, how can I help you? Sorry, I called by mistake. No worries, try to get some rest. <laughs> is the cafeteria open? It is, they should be serving breakfast now. I wonder if they have like the really bad sandwiches from whenever I had to stay at the hospital. You mean she's not there already? Well, she should be there soon to take your vitals. You know the drill, hon. Aww. <laughs> oh no. It's gone! Yummy stole my dream journal! Doctor! They took it. Have him sent to the principal's office and have him expelled. They took Rakuen. What did they take? Rakuen. It's my favorite book in the whole world. Title drop. <laughs> my mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's a tradition! It was actually close to being a dream journal. <laughs> Wait, with these games, I'm never surprised if there's a dream journal. They always, they always wear the, the human Nikki influence on their sleeves, you know? <laughs> okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm, did it look like the title screen? Just gonna assume. It has a brown cover. I'm so right. <laughs> it looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. A silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they'd take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. It's Yami! Mom's gonna be so sad. Aww. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Yami, I'm hunting you down! Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Alright, let's go explore. Oh, oh. It's my bathroom. Fill the sink with water? Can I jump in and take a bath? No? We, we just filled it up for fun. Okay. A mirror. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the water in there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Is there anything in here? I, I, for, I, I think I examined this, but... Okay, yeah. Water waste, let's go! I, I sure hope this isn't set in California. Hospital scale. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. Looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Yeah. 5G. Oh, I'm getting so rich. Did I just steal from one of the workers? 
<laughs> Just like stole their lunch money. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? Hospital admittance form number two. And what kind of cheap ass hospital is this to not have a bathtub slash shower cubicle in their bathroom? Boo. Yeah. Yeah, like what happens if you're like a permanent, like, or maybe not permanent, but like if you stay there for more than one day, like, do, do they just like wash you down themselves? Do you not take baths? Everyone knows that private property does not exist on RPG Maker games. <laughs> so true. I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. Mm -hmm. Can I talk to that one person? Hello? Oh no, they're just ignoring me. Open the cabinet, yeah. Folders filled with medical forms. Looks like there's something beneath the folders. Yeah, oh, I'm getting so rich. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where's that nurse with my coffee? <laughs> okay, Boomer. I knew that my I know that my workplace has a specific bath place where the CNAs can give patients baths. So if they don't have one, then they can sue. <laughs> a book about airplanes. Oh, you like airplanes, huh? It's kind of cute. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. I'm surprised Yummy didn't steal your music box. Treatment guide. Patient number 196, blood samples. Open the cabinet. You found 5G, ah! Oh! There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. To be fair, it is broken. True. Threatening to harm a child. Just another day in RPG Maker land. <laughs> He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I hope he's a cocaine bear. I heard that, you little brat! See what I mean? Or maybe he was the one to break it and stole a part from it. Oh, maybe. We already opened that. God, I was I was gonna talk about, like, um... Uh... That time I was in the hospital for, like, a day when I was a kid. Oh. Keep out! Only authorized personnel allowed be on this point. It's an electric device with the passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Yeah, so when I was a kid, um, I, I, you know, uh, because I have, like, a growth hormone deficiency, I'd have to go to the hospital, like, uh, once every two months or so, uh, to get, like, testing done. Uh, typically it would be, like, blood tests and stuff. Uh, one day they took, like, a bit too many blood tests from me. Uh, to where I passed out. <laughs> uh, I was just to put. I, I was just supposed to be visiting to get my blood drawn. Like I was only supposed to be there for like a couple hours, but I passed out. <laughs> and uh, so they put me in like this hospital room, and I remember I actually really loved the hospital room because <laughs> they had like a like this big area. Like uh, I was with like uh two other kids. I think I was in like third grade or, or something like that um, when I was put in there. Uh, and I remember the room had me, this one girl, and this one other person. Um, I only really remember the, the girl because I talked to her a lot. And back then, they had like this little, this little section in the hospital, at least in the kids section. Where there was like this TV and there were like like these three TVs that were kind of like connected all together. And there was a Nintendo 64 connected to each one of them. But they were kept in like these little like uh, glass things. So that like kids couldn't hurt themselves on the wire or anything. Uh, and I remember... I remember because like uh, I woke up a, a bit past like... Um, I guess the time that they could discharge me. So I, I stayed there overnight. 
and I played on the Nintendo 64, and I talked to the one girl in the same hospital room as me, and it was just really fun. <laughs> And it was like one of those moments, you know, like 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 with my dot hack moment, where you know I I thought something kind of, that that like looking back on it, I'm like, Elio, no, but I was like, man, I wish I could live in the hospital every day. <laughs> Feels like a sleepover, yeah. <laughs> so it was like one of those dot hack moments where I'm like, wow. I sure wish I wasn't discharged. <laughs> Gotta love hospitals. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time I enjoyed being at a hospital was because they had a, a kid's room with a Nintendo 64. <laughs> yeah, one of those dot hack moments. Man, I sure wish I could fall into a coma so I could go into my favorite video game. Super Nintendo World will feature three new attractions. Oh, is that the is that the Mario? Uh, the Mario, like, um, fucking theme park with, like, the little bracelets. Donkey Kong Minecart Madness. Yo! Let's fucking go! Donkey Konga! It better be, like, the full-ass minecart ride. Hey there. What's up? Hey, I don't think we formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool! I'd 100% go there with the boys and reenact that gift. <laughs> Don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Based. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Why do you have like a painting thing set up in a hospital? Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay! Did, did anyone donate my book? I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. Oh, she's probably a volunteer, yeah. It's definitely not in scrubs. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Point is, I'm gonna do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd all be worth it. Hey there. Yeah, did you hear about the thief? I, were they stealing to donate to you, maybe? Dude, yeah! Chef Panky came out here earlier and he was not have. What kind of name is that? Chef Panky? I guess the chef... Uh, uh, I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? How did no one catch them? Sh shouldn't you guys have, like, cameras set up in the hospital? can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Also, what the fuck kind of school does she go to? Her school is cool AF yeah, because she'd get in trouble with that hairstyle in my school district, right? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about the folks here. Who do you want to know about? Tony. I, I don't know like any of these people. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. Food thief. The best thief there is. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Ayo, Kresnik looking fresh. Ayo. Was Kresnik... I, I don't even remember if he was in SMT5. If not, let's go. We're one step closer to a Devil Survivor 3D remake. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, Sue. I don't know who that is. Sue's a sweetheart. Tony is the grumpy old man. Yeah, he's the boomer that needs his coffee in the morning. 
<laughs> he's Garfield coded. But she's obsessed. Hmm? I think he was in Soul Hackers too. Closest thing he's had to a 3D model like this. Mmm. Yeah, Soul Hackers 2 brought in a lot of old demons, which is pretty nice. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Hmm, Jackie? Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. Yo, Jackie's my mod. <laughs> and my best friend. He's cool. I agree. A little weird. I don't agree. <laughs> but cool. <laughs> True. <laughs> if you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. It you! Okay, that's everyone. Food thieves are the absolute worst. I'll kill whoever steals my ice cream. Oh, true. If it happens to me, I'll get upset. But if I'm the food thief, then it's fine. A pink cat? Rolling! <laughs> cool dialogue. <laughs> oh, Vietoris. <laughs> oh, look at that. I phased right through it. Oh, cute design. Oh, I love the little teddy bear. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? It feels like it got added on after the fact. <laughs> Ahem. What can I help you with? What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? He's just like me! I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. So true, Jackie, so true! But so far, only the platypus and echidna families have hopped on that bad wagon. Oh, hey, Linux! <laughs> why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time! I like him. He's cool. <laughs> Did you hear about the thief? <laughs> Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? I laid them myself. <laughs> Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm. Not really. Jackie, I think it's time to denounce this guy. Nah, he's cool! A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. He, he and I could have a nice long conversation about how cool shoe bill... <laughs> Shoehorn bills are. Last night, I saw someone going to that closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that closet had been locked since before I started working here. Pretty sure they were not staff. What do they look like? Classic statement to give to a child. <laughs> so that's why the omelets tasted weird. <laughs> I only saw them out of the corner of my eye and for about a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Tell me about folks here. Yeah, tell me. Panky? Oh, okay, so he's talking about- I'm assuming these are all doctors. Does this hospital have no cameras? I don't believe it does. <laughs> the children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Oh, I'm having such a bad day. You know what I could sure use right now? An orange cream sickle. Please give me ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. He's so cute. <laughs> He's such a science king. I love him. God, I have a weak point for science kings. I knew Kizaburo back before his mind started going. He spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. 
What do you mean? Oh, do they have Alzheimer's? I can assure you cameras do not exist in this world. <laughs> is that boy wearing a paper boat as a hat? Yeah, he is. He's looking mighty cool. Recently, the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. Yeah, kids would definitely start faking having bad days. <laughs> Me! I remember... Uh, I remember I, I had like a, th this one class that I would go to um, and they would give out like a uh, little prizes and stuff uh, but if like a kid was having like a, a bad day or whatever they would give them like a lollipop so I would be like oh I'm so sad I'm so sad today oh you know what could sure cure me of my sadness is if you gave me a, a Lollipop, please. <laughs> Recently, the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. No bathtubs, no cameras. What kind of joint are they running here? Yeah, what is this, 1984? Oh, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... Buried treasure. If you're too sick for work, you're too sick for ice cream. No, I'm not too sick for ice cream. But you know it's good to have ice cream when you're sick. Don't actually have ice cream when you're sick. <laughs> okay, Danielle. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. <gasps> purple-haired girl? She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Shaking my head, my head, exploiting the system. The system is made to be exploited. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? Damn. They really ripped it hard, huh? The absolute hubris of this fucking creature to rework the entire overlay and get the biggest, most obstructive ear so he can't read what we're saying. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Also, hold on. Let me adjust my chat. There we go. I don't like that it was running off the screen. I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. Oh, <laughs> there you go. How about I adjust you? <laughs> Bald! See, Elia's main priority is the cafeteria now, huh? <laughs> Gotta take off ears to read. <laughs> See, this is why I'm so bad at Project Moon. My ears just keep blocking my eyes, so I, I can't see. <laughs> oh, shinny mode. Helper, how could you? Bald to blast! <laughs> right, no, I shall accommodate space. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing, Linux? Shift leader, just call me to Nin's Dam. Also, God, this reminds me, um, I had like this one, we, we have like cleaning duties at my job, right? Um, and I had this one which was to, to clean like the, this little pipe area. Uh, near like the garbage because like it, it you're not supposed to throw your shit there but people people see like a shoot and they're just like okay I'll, I'll go put my my drinks down there and instead of putting it in in like the very obviously labeled like like three trash can area uh so i went to go clean it and uh like i i cleaned like two of the pipes uh, the first pipe was fine. I did fine with that pipe. But then I got to the second pipe. There's a cockroach in it! Mr. Mr. Gregory, Lumbus Company visited me. And I, 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 I like, freaked out. <laughs> and I was like, ah! Yeah, Pablo. Mr. Pablo paid me a visit. So, <laughs> I, like... I like screamed and then <laughs> one of my, my co-workers was like, is everything okay? And I'm like, it's Pablo. So she had to help me. 
escort the cockroach out because I was like, no, 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 don't, don't kill Pablo, don't, don't kill Pablo, but like, please get him out of here. I, I was like, because I, I didn't want to touch, I didn't want to touch Pablo, but I didn't want him in there. I also didn't want him to get like stuck in the pipes or anything. So I was like, please, please, could someone like cup up Pablo and get him out of here, please? Huh. So someone was able to do it for me, but that was that was an experience. Didn't Gregor also hate bugs? Oh, did he? But he's got his friend, Pablo. Why is our new hire in the bathroom just repeating Pablo over and over? <laughs> My God, this, this is like Lufa's company. You know we're short staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Let me know if you find Pablo in there. A device used to measure height. I'm short. Gemma and Sue's room. Yeah, afraid of bugs. Pretty ironic. Cause he turns into one. Hey, what are you doing? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know. If you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside, eh? If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Is that like the the, the part from the music box? Winston! How are you doing today? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Did, did she ever play hit MMO, The World? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? <laughs> Vaguely reminds me of the tiny frog that somehow got in the kitchen at my job some time ago. Oh, I have no idea how it ended up in the silverware bin when it's really high up. Yeah, we've had, I remember I had like a ladybug. During my uh, my shift at the the movie theater, it was so cute. <laughs> Gamed too close to the sun. <laughs> I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. How are you doing today? Yeah, tell me about the folks here. Who would you like to learn about? On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Tony. That's the boomer. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Yeah. Cora? I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Oh yeah, that's the pink mohawk girl. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. <laughs> that's so cute. Hello. How do I... No. I'm... Any money I can steal? No. Patient 138 blood samples. Thermometer. Patient 138. Anoxic brain injury. Stage 1 coma. Respiratory therapy session. Yo. That, they really are a gamer. An IV bag filled with a saline solution. So, you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I guess? Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It is a girl's room, you know? Also, what the game about? Kid... Kid in hospital. That's all I really know about right now. <laughs> also, there's a thief going around stealing stuff. That... His name is Yami and he has a Shadow the Hedgehog color palette. Gosh. It looks like you really gotta go, though. Is it just sad hospital game? It might be. <laughs> I'm not sure. Sue's sweetest little girl. She's cute. I like her design. 
Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yep. Yo, is that a standee of Elio Laffy in it? How could you? That's my marble collection. I'm missing some though. The thief? I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. There is another thing going on in the story, but we're still at the beginning, yeah. Elmeo, what? Elmeo, they're buffing Philip Sinclair? That's funny. Really? I, I had a lot of fun with Philip Sinclair. He seems cool. Wow, so many different marvels. Wowee, now you too can pre-order an Elio Laffy Standee at Starry Bunny Boy's coffee page from now until the end of May. <laughs> yeah, I was using him in the event fight. Yeah, they instantly hotfixed him, yeah. That'd be why. <laughs> yeah, I still need to do my hard missions. I, I did like one run of it and got like a, a good chunk of the rewards, but I finished my my easy missions first try, but I didn't feel like doing the rest of the hard missions right now. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. The events are super tuned to make the ID that releases it way better than it is. Mmm. Everyone's got these humidifiers with plants in them. What's up with that? Like, I don't think he was terrible, but he was a bit of a pain in the ass to use. Mmm. It's basically a fun way to go crazy with the new ID and sell you on them. <laughs> yeah, I, I wound up also getting my, uh... Finally, I got my shooters, so I'm happy. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. My stomach's growling. But I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. <laughs> peanut choo-choo? <laughs> Hospital admittance forms A through F. Hey, don't touch that. Can't you see I'm working here? Oh, I'm working here. He's a burrow's room. Oh, is this the guy that digs in the mud? Dropping 35 SP and then getting double S1 is like, not great. Also because of the way SP gain worked, you are literally better intentionally leaving him below level cap so he could ramp SP faster by killing people. <laughs> Attention, all hospital staff, instructions. Kizaburo is not allowed to have caffeinated liquids before prep- Is he- Oh wait, no, that's a coffee. Someone has edged something into the edge of the bulletin board. YM3? Y2K? It appeared that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Did he like dig a hole in the wall or something? A soup ladle that is caked with mud is laying on top of old medical forms. He totally did. <laughs> I checked earlier and didn't see the SP loss stuff anymore in those skills. Oh, it said May 9th update? Maybe I'm lying. Did they hotfix buff and planning to buff him more? It does say additional buffs. Alright, well whatever. He's actually for real stupid now. <laughs> instead of being kinda unwieldy. <laughs> Let's go. Looks like there's something beneath the ladle. We found meow money! Getting so much money. A stack of notes have been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Based on the results of Kizaburo's brain scan, we believe the metastases to be the cause for his delirium. He didn't dig a hole, thankfully, because he'd be a menace if he did. <laughs> He's just like one of those people from, from like jail that like dig a tunnel with a spoon to, to escape. <laughs> Based on the results of Kizavera's brain scan, we believe that- yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Okay, Kizaburo. Oh, he's cool. Peak design. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. Laugh my ass off though at the initial post update notice. Yeah, uh, a hundred thousand people all tried to log in at once. My server's fucking exploded. Our bad. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed that when I logged in to do my pulls, I kept getting error messages. <laughs> But I was like, no, let me in. I got I got a pool for what perg is knocked. <laughs> so I just kept spamming like reload or, or just like clicking X and it would still let me play even when I got error codes. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. Also, I've had shinny mode on long enough. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What, were they crawling through the vents? Do, 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 do. You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. No one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. Bun? Yes or no? For... For what? <laughs> Nani? Sus. A bogus. <laughs> I'm not one for gossip. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay, Kizaburo. I, I respect it. He's got like a nice little... Looks like he gets visited a lot. He's got like a nice little flower, a little seat, which makes me think someone is usually sitting there. Patient survey. I need an unbiased opinion. Yes or no? Yes. What is it? A colorful paper flyer. Read it. Tal Cape Heroes, a group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. Oh, bunny ears. I guess I can use it. Oh, shimatta. Oi. Oi, tamera. Nani wo shimasu ka? Eh. Ashi. Eh. みんな。なぜですか。なんでなんで。二人と。二人と。なぜ。え、知らなかったよ。知らなかったよ、スカヤカン。おい、しまった。くそ。あ、えっとね、えっとね。えっとね。えっとね。忘れちゃった。えっと、鍵。いや、鍵。鍵。あ、どこへ鍵を鍵を。あ、えっとね。あ、その鍵をどこに置きましたか。えっとね、あ、このゲームはあ、面白かったね。あ、でもまだまだあ、ゲームをしませんでした。あ、えっとね。あ、すずく。あ、あ、はいはい。忘れちゃ。<笑> あ、えっとね。えっとね。あ、えっとね。この、うん。どこへ。どこかに落とした端だ。おい、なんなぜ。おい、レネックスさん。何を<笑> 
誰誰誰の誰の部屋なぜですかそしてすうさぎの<笑>うさぎのあえ,えうさぎのこと<笑>あ闇の部屋は何どこ闇の部屋はどこですかはいお金がお金くださーいあまだお金がないあサービスクールはいあラストはサービとかあみんなわかりますかあサービスキーの名前はサービスだから僕をあわかりますそれはこのこのこのアイテムは窓この窓この窓<笑><笑>このものをマロですおいみんなおピナットチッチューあっごひよごひよありませんでしたあまあ僕はこびを飲みませんだからどうでもいいこんばんはこんばんはおちいすようこそピ<笑>ナットチュッチューをーええっとねこの病院はあえっとねこのこのワードは何あえっとね看護師看護師ですか腰はピナとチューチューを干したいです。えはい。ピナとチューチューをどうぞ。待って。この、この時間はあ,あ、OK。I can stop. I can stop speaking in Japanese now. <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh, jeez. So, what I was saying was、uh, Rust. Rust is Sabi. And the way I remember it is because of Sabi Tsuki.、Uh, same with remembering、uh, Windows is Model because of Model Tsuki. <laughs> and I also remember Uso because of both Yume.、Uh, what was it? Was it Yume Nishi? That had Usotsuki, that and, and Higurashi. <laughs> For Usotsuki, liar! Eh? Eh? Oh, we were speakless for two minutes. I, I, I think I went over. I, would, I think I went over two minutes with the Wu speak, didn't I? <laughs> Did you have fun? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. Mm hmm. Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. Yeah, Usotsuki is from Yumenushi. Mm hmm. I wasn't sure if I remember the name right. It's been a hot minute.、Uh, let's see, which one was Head Pats? No.、Oh. There we go. <laughs> I forgot to add the, the glasses for the drip. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> Good job, Bun. Thank you. <laughs> oh, now I can snoop in their stuff. Peanut to choo choo! <laughs> Ooh. An assortment of books and pamphlets lined the shelves. Ah,、uh, the new model did have ears? Yes! Very big, fluffy ears. A, new, a newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. Read it. 19th of March, Junior. 
Already scrapped for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Did I miss the hat toggle in the model reveal? I forgot to show it. <laughs> I forgot to show the drip redeemed. <laughs> Hi and happy old Pergus Knock to my fellow lob fans and little goody two shoes needs and friends. Oh, nerds and friends. Hey there, Adam. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you had good luck with the Walpurgis Knocked gotcha. I was just barely able to get everything. I think I got like two ten pulls left. There's a drip redeem. Yes. Several years worth of medical journals. Uh, lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Oh. Is this a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Closet 5C pass. Okay. 1721, 1721, 1721, 1721. Oh, I wish I could run. That was, that was this one, right? It was this door, right? One seven two one. Oh, I guess I I guess I just gotta remember it for later. The Walpurgis knocked has sadly left me in shambles. I only got Don Claire. Oh no, I'm sorry about that, Skyrocon. It's good to walk around now and then. Walking is great for your circulation. Oh, thank you for putting that in chat, Solstice. I warned you about rolling for them egos. Yeah, I'm surprised I got the egos. Okay, let's head on to the cafeteria, I think. I sip. <laughs> The door is rusted shut. Everything sabitsu keyed. Wait, right, hold on. <gasps> I saw a cat in there. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Ow. Oh, maybe you guys should build cameras in your facilities. And maybe a bathroom too while you're at it. Seems like you're missing some of that. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials can be found here. I support you, Solstice. I believe you can get another, hopefully. Also, screw the fucking Faye. Hmm? I really wanted that gambler's ego with the multi-coin. <laughs> Various drinks, yogurt, and fruit cups line the shelves. Is there fruit gummy? Ice bowls and snacks. Dang. There's several different kinds of box lunches here. Yo, this is a really good cafeteria. My the cafeteria is all the hospitals I went to it sucked. The spin is filled with ice cream and other frozen snacks. <gasps> Cold drinks are kept here. I want some ice cream. What is this cat? A pile of freshly made plushie toys. Oh! Looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. We found snowy marble. Oh, hey, that was for that one girl. <gasps> I told you you're not supposed to have cats in the house. Gordon Ramsay? <gasps> oh, she's cute. It's fine. She's a seen eye cat. My vision is really bad. Oh, head pats. Head pats, head pats. Thank you, Adam. This cafeteria kind of reminds me of the one my parents used to work at. Oh, really? I mean, if you're lucky enough, Ishmael basically uses an eight-coin skill. <laughs> really? Sad news, Baba Yaga is back in MD. Oh. Cute. Also, I love the purple girl. Yeah, she's cute. See an eye cat? Well, how else is the cat supposed to see? <laughs> Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky is the worst. Oh, she's cute. Hey, kiddo. Need something? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My 
my goal is to make one for all the patients on this floor. Even old crusty men like Tony and Pinky. Oh, she's so nice. Yeah, I heard that. Good. <laughs> hey, kiddo. You need something? Yeah, did you hear about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk that's across from Kisaburo's room. What do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. Oh, I know all about the people here. Have you noticed? Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on. Do you think, don't you think that's a little certain? Well, maybe she didn't want to lose it at the hospital. I mean, Winston is still wearing his. What a gossip. <laughs> I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell that he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd open up to you a bit. Ah, uh, but the, the vending machine doesn't vend the coffee anymore. Oh, I know all about the people here. Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Oh, that's a little girl, right? She's in a coma. <laughs> yeah, I think she's the one in a coma. Yeah, so... So, I, I don't think she, like, intentionally chose to not wear her wedding band the day she fell into a coma. Alright, see you later, Danielle, you cutie patootie. Caution, these drinks are hot. Yeah, do you have any coffee? Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You needing something? Hey there, Chef Ramsay. Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital hall with peanut choo-choos. The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. How dare they deprive the coffee lovers of coffee. <laughs> yeah, Gordon Ramsay. I love that we thought the same. <laughs> he looks just like him. I guess it's not just kids that like him, huh? Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of foods and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? It comes down after hours, and no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow got into the back space. Ooh. What exactly are peanut choo-choos again? I'm not sure. I I'm thinking they're like... Have you guys ever seen those, like, peanut-shaped, like, uh, little sandwiches that are peanut-flavored and have, like, the little peanut filling? I'm assuming that's what the peanut choo-choos is based off of. Because I remember I would have those at the hospital all the time. And maybe they're those, those terrible candies that are shaped like peanuts instead. I don't like those ones. The backspace? Fuck your peanut choo-choos. Give us coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's a network of closed-off passageways. Half-built rooms, storage closets, you know. The aftermath of... Well, yeah. It's crazy back there. Not a fan of circus peanuts, Candy. I am not. Nuh-uh. Yeah, I'm Let's see. Danielle. Don't tell I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. She's perfect. She's perfect. The, the ideal woman. I heard that. Uh, what can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. Will, will you marry me, Danielle? I need myself a crazy cat lady that, that sews stuff for patients. That's so that's so kind of her. If that case of Burrow comes in here one more time barring my stuff, I swear. 
based, Elio found his love. Now only if she had a maid outfit and braids. <laughs> she's already got purple hair, so she, she's on her way to peak design. Borrowing? Didn't even recall her name, but we'll now refer to her as Crazy Cat Lady. <laughs> oh yeah. He took all my soup labels. Ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure. I feel bad for the guy though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Jackie! Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet. Stuck on another planet. But if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. <laughs> MD4 has made Dante a fucking brat. What the fuck? Hmm? Honey. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. Oh. <laughs> Who let him cook? God, I love food. He's just like you! No one's gonna give him a shovel. Exactly. Fresh Odin. I want some Odin. I've never had Odin. It always looks so good when I see it in the anime, though. There's a bunch of new MD event options with Abnos we fought. Or you just pissed them off intentionally to fight them? I just threw a jar of the clam gloop at the ambling pearl. <laughs> Damn. Allow me to write dumb ass on that one robot abnormality. What? <laughs> Insert credit or debit card now. Surcharges may apply. I don't got a credit card. <gasps> She's dressed up like a maid. Sorry, hun. But you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. Maid. I think all cafeteria ladies should wear maid outfits. Just an opinion, but... That opinion is correct. Okay, where's that one? That one door. Might use the code at. I believe it was 1712. Where's my mummy? I need my mummy. Oh wait, I guess I can give Sue her... I guess I could give Sue her marbles. And she'll let me go into the bathroom. Thanks, so that was Keensboro. I think this is Sue's. Oh wait, no. I got I got the rooms wrong. <gasps> marbles! So this would be Sue's room. Yeah, there we go. Here you go. I got your marbles. Let me go take a shit in your bathroom. Any luck? Give Sue the snowy marble, yes. You give the snowy marble to Sue. Ah, you found my snow world. Snow world? Made inside cafeteria kitchen. This hospital is all right. They may not have bathrooms. They may not have cameras, but at least they got maids. Just like back in Lovecore, when Hod gave you a mission to suppress some Abnos, just gotta piss them off and get rewards for beating the shit out of them. Same with Gebera. <laughs> Can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets. With tiny people living inside. Oh yeah, I, I agree, Sue. There are like tiny people that live inside the, the little film. The little film strips. What? She's so cute. She is. I love her already. <laughs> That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring. <laughs> Silly Elio, you can't heal patients inside bathrooms. <laughs> but it's not. They're gonna get sick because of how stinky they are, though, OGs. Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. Insane Elio character confirmed. Oi! <laughs> what kinds of parties? Snowmen dance parties. I love dancing. 
Me too. Oh, they have pretty lanterns everywhere too. And a blue campfire that feels cold. Nah, sponge bath. <laughs> but that sucks. If we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. That bow kid looking kid is so dead? Hmm? Oh yeah, and feel free to use our bathroom anytime you like. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. Alright, now I can go in the bathroom. The more stinky the patient becomes, the more they'll heal faster. They can go home and take a shower. <laughs> What's with this kid and just filling the sink with water? Hello? Looks like there's something shiny floating inside. You see the key to Tony's bathroom. Oh. It appears that there's a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps we could get through if you had the right tools. Holy horror bathroom. That's why they have no bathtubs. They kept filling them for no reason. <laughs> what did they eat? Peanut choo choos. Tony wasn't here, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna use your bathroom. I gotta fill all the sinks with water. It's the only way these people can have baths otherwise. A box labeled 5C Power Supply. A paper notice is attached to the box and there's a lever in front. 5C Power Supply, do not tamper with this device. Will not tamper with this device. I see power supply is on. Hmm. I'm gonna make some Amna Witch ripoffs. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, this card pack has a warning logo on it. I heard these are dumb. Okay, so now we got power. What does that do? Oh yeah, all the bathrooms are different. Can you go anywhere? Because the phone still worked. Oh, maybe it unlocked this door. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, it was, it was 1712, right? Oh, no. Oh, 1721. That was it. I was close. Oh, hello? Why, why, why'd the music get all creepy? Attention, all hospital staff. Urgent. Please begin transfer of medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Or, or, or Siri? There was like another thing that was like, it was like... I, I don't remember what it said. It appears that there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked off. They got so many tunnels. Open the cabinet. Is there money? An assortment of books and pamphlets lined the shelves. A newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the box, uh, two of the books. 
14th of March, JNR. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. What is this, Fallout? Yo, Fallout 107 looking real good right now. Several years worth of medical journals. Folders filled with medical forms. Looks like there's something beneath the folders. We found a key, a small cabinet. Oh. Small cabinet. Yeah, there we go. There's a laminated card lying at the bottom of the drawer. Exit SC uh, 5C passcode 29542954295429542954. Someone's weather journal. Look inside. Oh, thank you, Solstice. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, so we but we tried our best. We'll be your notepad. Thank you. <laughs> Patient 122 blood samples. There's an electronic device. Okay. Oh, okay. Fast enough. Okay. Two, nine, five, four. Thank you. Two nine five four two nine five four two nine five four two five five nine two five 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 two nine four five <laughs> one two three four. Now who that? I'm gonna be like, why did the lights just turn on? <laughs> Medical books. Is that a PS4 on the ground? Oh, it's a push puzzle. Hold on, hold on. Attention staff, a representative from Koide Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personnel materials are removed before then. Laughs in PS6. A jar with an unknown specimen floating inside, huh? A pair of glass beakers. The door is locked. Okay, let's go see what this person's doing. Warning, construction zone ahead. Please do not enter without explicit permission from your supervisor. Yeah, well, you see, I got this thing here that says I do what I want. Oh, the door's locked. Okay, hold on. Let me reset the push puzzle. What a strange jar creature. Okay, let's see. Let's do... Haha, <laughs> first try. I'm so good at push puzzles. Medical pamphlets and office supplies. Medical. See, look, I can just take his shit. Hmm? The umbrella is rusted. Iron blades have firmly rooted themselves in its back. Take the gathered umbrellas. Why would you take the gathered umbrellas when you can pet the fox? I always pet the fox. He's so cute. Why would you do that? Why would you make him sad? Because Dante is a brat. <laughs> well, fuck Dante. If you, if you don't pet the fox, then we're not friends. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. It looks like there's something inside the lab coat pocket. We found key to metal door. Okay, so now we can go into the construction area. I don't need the rupture gift, and I don't want to fight the fox, so he's fine for today. <laughs> fox deserves all the pets, right? 
He's got like the cutest eagle gift. Dang, what's wrong with this hospital? A construction contract for the rebuilding of the third floor. Wing 2B. Yeah, safety hazard. Yeah, what kind of hospital keeps that there? I don't even have anyone around to see if anyone, like, could potentially hurt themselves here. You received a card key. Someone left a note here. Georgie. Remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We can't just go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. See? Some patients dug an escape tunnel so they can leave to find showers. <laughs> Yay, more money! Okay, so... Let's look around a bit. Despite the fact the rupture gift can be sold equal to that of a difficult encounter, choosing the mean option hurts the soul. Exactly. So you get me, Skycon. There's a fucking hole in the ground. I mean, if you fall there, you'll never be coming back. And can I not use my key card? There we go. Oh. Wait. Hmm? I guess you need different key cards for different things. Uh oh. The door is locked. A notice is posted here. For security purposes, all three supervisor card keys must be inserted in order to open this door. Oh. Hold on. Let me take the card key. Okay, so it's one of those puzzles. Oh yeah, I just got the robot event. <laughs> now writing dumbass on that stupid robot. That I can get behind. I haven't seen the robot event yet. Bills and tax forms. Ugh. Worst thing in my life. Not looking forward to doing taxes next year. A lanyard with a card key hangs from inside of the locker. Yes, more card keys. Okay, let's take that. A yeah, pretty, pretty simple puzzle. Okay, let me go fall down this hole real fast. Damn. Okay, yeah, there we go. Well, why do they do all these puzzles with the card keys? Silly hospital. Got no cameras. Got no bathrooms. Got got holes. Wait, hmm? Oh, maybe I need to read this again. Oh, okay. I guess I just have to open all the doors at once. And that should open the door. There we go. That is such a weird system, but okay. I love doing taxes and depression. <laughs> that a shovel? I remember the pain that stupid robot inflicted on me in the railroad one. Raising my turn count unnecessarily high. It deserves to be called dumbass. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, expect more RPG Maker-esque puzzles. Let's go! My book! Has it got like a stinky aura around it? It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Your name's Horse? Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? 
Hospital security must have got bored one day and rewired the security doors. <laughs> I guess you kind of caught me red-handed. So Yami was blameless all along. I'm sorry, Yami. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty weird hospital. Yeah. Why would you steal from the hospital? I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh, uh, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, are you hungry? Squatters, right? <laughs> At least he doesn't have to pay rent or anything. I got a bit of a fish head left from last week if you'd like. Eh? Except that's gotta be bad. Uh. That's okay. But thank you. Wait, are you sure you don't want to get seen by the hospital, old man? Look, kid. I'm really sorry I took your book. Please, take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. Do you think this was food? Imagine paying rent and not breaking and entering a hospital and robbing. <laughs> Couldn't be me. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry too. <laughs> but do you commit burglary and theft? You received Rakuen. And I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. And that ain't happening. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh! One more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Yeah, sure. It better be a good thing, though. Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply. Becoming sharp is a tech. Huh? If all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Why are you giving me why are you giving me riddles? Well, two secrets. Hmm. What in the world are you doing in here? I Um Well, I don't know how you got in here. But the series off limits. Oh god. Hold on. Wait. I Hold on. I'll be right back. I think I think like one of my eyelashes fell in my eye. I'm going to go I'm going to go like wash it out real fast.
Okay. Sorry about that. The eyelashes are rising up against the foot. Yeah. Oh, uh, I hate. I hate when that happens when your eyelashes fall in your eye. Ugh. I like pretty long eyelashes, I think. So, <laughs> uh, Have you guys. Oh, maybe I shouldn't talk about it. Maybe it's skeeting people out. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. <gasps> Mommy! Man, that guy's stinky. Why, why is he stinking off the place? I, I guess because he's living in the hospital that doesn't have a bathroom. <laughs> After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Aww. Will you read Rocco in to me, Mom? Everyone is stinky here. This is the stinky hospital. Mom, when I can can I transfer to a hospital with a bathtub? <laughs> Of course I will. Yeah, if I was his mom and I heard about, like, someone's going around and committing theft <laughs> in this hospital and the hospital was unable to catch the thief, I would be like, okay, honey. What? What the? What? What the hell was that noise? Did you? <laughs> Baby? <laughs> It sounds like a baby! What? Huh? <laughs> Mom, can you hose me down outside for a bit? <laughs> I was so comfy in bed with my cat. Now I'm rushing to work. Time is so unfair. Oh, did you just get called in? That sucks. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Yeah, it sounded like a baby. <laughs> that was so weird. Yeah, yeah, please transfer me out. I wake up to the sounds of babies crying and someone broke into my room to steal shit from me. I don't think this Once is a safe time, hospital. There lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Oh. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. Ooh. One day, Where's the boy end? returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe died had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. Ooh. In order to reach them, really the boy decided her voice. to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, Ooh. the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizoto granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. God, her voice is now able to sail away, really good. Finally reuniting with his tribe. And it's so relaxing. In the beautiful world of Rockwood. And lady, you, you need to open, you need to open an ASMR channel. I would subscribe. <laughs> All right, it's a hospital. Must be next door to the newborn ward. I'm less weirded out now. <laughs> Are you gonna go to a dream world now? Mom, is that you? Is it Yami? Yeah, it's Yami. Hey. If I recall correctly, it's Laura Shikihara. She has such a calming singing voice. Ooh. I will look her up because I really like that voice. Laura Shikihara. Oh, yeah, I see. I see a, a video on YouTube for Rakuen. Like a music video. I won't watch it because it probably spoils me on stuff. But I will subscribe and watch her other stuff. Oh, she does like a bunch of... Wait! Is she... 
Is he the musician for Plants vs. Zombies? Wait, did she do the original Plants vs. Zombies? <gasps> what? Oh my god! I loved the Plants vs. Zombies OST! Holy crap! That's so cool! What? I've been a fan of her all along and I, I didn't even know. Uh huh, yeah. Wow. What does Yami mean again? Yeah, darker, darker shadow, yeah. And now she sang the theme song for To the Moon and Delta Rune too. Wait, really? Oh. Hi, Bun Bun. Loving the new model. Hey, Kren. Oh, thank you for the head pats. Yeah, I'm glad you like the model. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys all like the model. I was so worried that I. I don't know. My my head is like that, you know. I, I'm just like, oh, no one will like these things that I am doing. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad the reception has been warm for the new model. Hey. Yummy. You came back. I'm sorry, I, I assumed you were the thief. I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the back space. I don't like the model. <laughs> but secretly, I <laughs> like it. <laughs> this place is like a construction zone right now, man. Uh, it's not like I like your model. Or anything. B B Baka! <laughs> of course, it looks amazing. It look like some kind of starry bunny boy. <laughs> Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book, it's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your mom. Your mommy's boy? I mean, wouldn't you, after all the RPG Maker and visual novels we played with shitty moms, wouldn't you latch on to the, the one mom that is good? <laughs> yeah, and me too. It's peak fiction, Yami. You don't understand. <laughs> it's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy, too. Silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. It's a book. <laughs> it's probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. Also, how do you know that, Yami? How do you know that I met that guy? I guess because you knew I went to the back street, so that, that means that you, you've been there yourself, Yami? You could leave any time, but you... You might never get to leave. Oh, hey man. I'm sorry for saying that. <laughs> it's kind of mean. It's okay. It's true. It makes you feel better. I'm stuck here too. We can be stuck here together. That's kind of gay, Yami. <laughs> You're right. Oh, that, that emoji. <laughs> So's this. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. Yami. Yeah? I hope you get better. I mean, both have terrible circumstances, Yami. No need to compare misery with each other, <laughs> right? He could leave any time. Yami, I don't think you know what squatter is. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh, what's the matter? I wish I could go to the Morizora and ask him to grant me a wish, but... I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? No. 
I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but... But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. Huh? Headcanon, Yami is the weird creature in the jar. <laughs> the truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money. No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. Pickle the Ami. <laughs> it's a map to Morizora's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizora himself. Are you like, are you like lying to me? Like, like telling me that Shan is not real? But... When the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. <gasps> this is the Rakuen key. You need it to open the book, as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. What is this, you and Nikki? The doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I mean, there are doors everywhere in the hospital. <laughs> I don't know. And we may never know, unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special. And now, it belongs to you. You see the Silver Rakuen Book Key. Thank you, Mom! But you must up- But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. You may Rakuen confirm? <laughs> oh, I promise. I'll take such good care of it. Okay, then. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizora's forest. If you want to talk with Mom at any time, press Q. Mom? Oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hello, dear. How are you? When I was a little girl, I used to always dream about finding a special door to Morizora's forest. I'm, I'm so shocked that <laughs> she's doing this. Sounds like mom has been raiding the medicine cabinet. Yeah, I, initially I thought she was just telling me like a story. Yeah, just to like, you know, like, you know, be like, oh yeah, it's all real, honey. But now now it feels like she, she's actually like serious. And I'm like, wait, what? Hmm? Did you notice that envelope on the floor of your room? Maybe someone left you a letter. Looks like someone left you a note. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. I think you might need this in writing. There's something crazy where I live. I had something to help you get there. We've left on it for a while, and maybe you can find it, Uma. Okay. I still don't understand what that means, but... Nice to your mom. She works really hard, you know. Yeah, probably pay because she pays all the medical bills. Yeah, is the coffee back? No. Where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Hmm? Jackie! I call it that mom and the doctors made a whole fake scavenger hunt ARG in order to make you happy in your final moments. Ah, I hope not. Ah! Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Oh, nothing new. Oh, wait. Maybe the what's up is different, actually. In this world, with so many new things to learn, no one needs to get to be bored. 
For example, did you know that a neutron star is so dense that a teaspoon of its matter would weigh more than- He's just like me! He's just like me! Last time he was talking about animals, now he's talking about neutron stars? He's my soulmate! Still can only think of like a mirror or something by decay- Oh, oh yeah! We have a mirror in our bathroom, let's try that out. All the people on Earth? I don't know what that means. One day you will. And then it will blow your mind. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, stars are pretty dense. <laughs> Sometimes I like to look for spirit change around the hospital. You'd be surprised how much is just laying around in cabinets and drawers. Oops. I'm just working on a new painting. How'd you like my cat? I gave her pink fur. <laughs> Wait, they have different dialogue? Okay, maybe it's just two. Let me see if he has anything new. Oh, okay. So this is the same stuff from last time, but... I just didn't see his additional dialogue. Oh wait, let's not go over there yet. Hey there, Tony! Is it too much to ask to get a cup of coffee? What do I have in my items? Okay, I guess I don't have anything. Oops. Yeah, let's go and examine the mirror. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Looks like someone has hidden something behind the mirror. Received Uma's key. Hmm, okay. So I guess we gotta go back to where he was at. Yuppie! Yeah, good call on that, Jackie. Okay, we can still go through here. Oh yeah, we, we never really got to examine this room very much, huh? Various bottled drinks. Half-eaten fish that looks like it's been taken from the trash. Ugh. Attention, all hospital staff, urgent. Mom? Mom's just like, whatever, yeah, we can we can come to this fucked up, broken down, dilapidated part of the hospital. That's that's fine, honey. <laughs> Please begin transfer of medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. A box filled with bento lunches. It's from when he stole from the cafeteria. Need to get some tools. I think I can get some from that one guy. Huh? Mom? Where are we? I'm not sure. Huh? <laughs> Was not expecting that. This is so strange. Mom? The Rockling Key! Did we get Isekai? <laughs> Chokukun! I didn't even see you coming! It's lighting stuff up. Let's go, Densha time! <laughs> Hell yo! <laughs> it's got little wings! And the Make-A-Wish Foundation really went all out! <laughs> Hmm? Big door. Alright. Well, I have you on stream so it can be recorded and held against you. Thanks. <laughs> Are we doing Anne Ray Saturday? Yes. 
Mom. I don't want to be here anymore. I know, dear. But you know what? What? Now that you're the keeper of that key, you can go anywhere. So this is why we had to pay more taxes, because Make-A-Wish went all out. <laughs> Even to Mori Zora. To ask him for a wish? Okay, so fun fact for the future. Maybe I shouldn't ask you questions when Ahab Mael isn't yelling in my fucking ear. <laughs> Did you say yes or no? Yes. If that's where you want to go... Can we go together? If only our tax money went to stuff like this. <laughs> right? Of course. Well, shall we? Oh, by the way, um, I'm thinking of maybe playing Minecraft next week. So if anyone wants to prep for that, I believe the server should still be open to access because Barn's been playing it on the server for a bit. But let me know if it doesn't work, if anyone wants to log in to prep for that. Okay. Minecraft, yeah! Been a while. Been a while since we had a Minecraft stream, but I I've been feeling it. I'm also thinking of returning to the SMT games and stuff, too. <gasps> Cat Cafe! <gasps> I didn't know what else. <gasps> Wait, are they monkeys? Are they little monkeys? <gasps> How did you get in here? Are they monkeys or cats? I don't know, but they're cute. Is this the Rainforest Cafe? We just came through the door behind us. I always wanted to go to the Rainforest Cafe! Where's the little gorilla animatronic? Ah! There's no joy behind you. <laughs> Damn, Elio going ape mode on some monkeys. Yes, there is. I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm. They're talking crazy. Minecraft, what about it? I really need to turn this game down. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of playing Minecraft next week if anyone wants to play to, to prep yourselves for the Minecraft stream. I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them. I see you must be lost. I've never seen you around Moizora's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're tourists then. I guess you could call us that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. Did that other multiplayer game fall through? Scheduling six plus people at once. No, it's still it's still going. It's just gonna be this Sunday instead of the day I was planning for it to be. <laughs> A book about us? Yeah. I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Wakuen? Yeah. That's wonderful. Is there anything you like to do while you're here? Well, I've always wanted to meet the great forest guardian, Morizora. Ah, uh, Morizora. He lives in the cave just northwest of this village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time, and it's not easy to wake him up. Anyways, this is the Libo Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. They're so cute. What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails. <laughs> Hush, it's not nice to talk about others behind their backs. <laughs> Turns out the Paradise City was just America and you wasted your time. Or about their backs. <laughs> hey! Sorry! Damn crazy, no tails. So no tail? 
I meant no harm. She's never seen anything like it at all. Glad this village doesn't seem weary of tourists. It's nice to not have RPG racism. <laughs> yeah! Breath of fresh air, that one. A vase full of flowers. A small fragrant flower. Flowers that are bigger than your head, ding. That's some big flowers. A healthy house plant. I like a tiny little bed. Oh, this is so cute. So, um, what's it like not having a tail? Do you fall over a lot? Hey! Oops, sorry. I mean, how are you? Recently, the river water levels are getting dangerously low. I hope Elio beats the board allegation. Elio, so no tail? <laughs> so, the great water dragon, Stormy, moved here to fix things. Now we have all the water we could possibly need. Okay, same, same dialogue. If you're looking for more Zora, he lives in the big cave northwest of the village. We care a lot about our village. I'm trying to do my part by cleaning up before the big Star Knight celebration. Star Knight? Ooh, that sounds cool. I like a nice little cafe here. Welcome to the Libre Inn. Would you like to sleep here? Sleep? <laughs> HP refilled. Do their usual knights not have stars? Oh, maybe. You wake fully rested. Save your game? Yeah, why not? A note next to the tray reads, Pinky's Scylla Berry Donuts. Chef Pinky baked those. His donuts are the best. Wait, Chef Pinky? Ain't that our chef? From the hospital? Huh? <gasps> so cute! Tony the bear keeps destroying our gardens. He's only got two moods. Grumpy and angry. Yeah, that's the, the boomer. Are we hallucinating? Oh, there's so much stuff down there. Well, well, what do we have here? Find out if these monkeys have coffee. <laughs> A couple of fresh faces and more Zora's Wars. Are you a pink cat? We're dreaming. The pink cat was on the, the pink mohawk lady's uh, painting. So we're just like dreaming about all this stuff, aren't we? Thank you for the hydrate, Kren. I called it full blown ARG or coma stuff. What am I? I'm a label, of course. What are you? Hmm. A great warrior. Impressive. Maybe you can help our blacksmith get his tools back. He's been hanging out near Morizora's cave ever since an angry spirit stole his tools. Are you a pink cat? Excuse me, I'm a label, of course. Cats walk on all fours and can't talk. What are you? A dragon. Dragon these nuts, eh? Nonsense, we have dragons here and they look nothing like you. I'm a rare dragon. Well, unless you're some kind of special dragon that I've never seen before. But I highly doubt it. Look at this guy, he thinks he knows the whole world. I got the bug, the travel bug. I can't sit still, I'm so reckless. Uh, re restless, blah, blah, blah. I wanna travel the world. I know 
that's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Yeah, all of them are named after patients. Winston's a carpenter label who lives out by the river. He's a nice guy, but he mainly keeps to himself. He's been caring for his sick wife ever since he came to the forest. We don't really know what happened to her. It even's got the, the lore. Where would you go? I think the question is, where wouldn't I go? <laughs> you in the village and hits the chief with a D's nuts. Nice one, Elio. <laughs> it's my greeting. Oh, is this the chef? Panky. Oh, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of food to prepare and not much time to do it. Wow, you two are tall. I guess you're not from around here, are ya? So cute! There's so much cool stuff here, too. Oh, hey there, Batter Days! Yesterday's do love funk. Thank you! Hope you're doing well today, Batter. What? What? Did I just grab something? I got a syllabary. Is that radishes? I should go get some stuff done. Hope you have fun with the game. Yeah, see you later, Silk. Thanks for joining. A label? Is this Mohawk girl? Yep, Cora. I knew it. Did Limbus me happy? Oh, did you get the stuff you wanted in the in the gotcha? Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Are you new here? Normally at this time, I'd be selling art supplies, but I'm still cleaning things up after the storm. Yes. Oh, nice! Sounds like a lot of people did pretty good on their Walpurgis pools. That's good. There was a storm here? A really big one! Lots of things were destroyed. Bamboo is going out of control and blocking paths. It's crazy around here. Cora! Baby girl! But the biggest problem right now is that all of the beanstalks connecting the village with the Skylands have been destroyed. The Skylands? Ismail and Philip with Malkuth. Oh, nice! I, I still haven't gotten Malkuth, but I got Yasad, so I'm happy. Yeah, half our tribe lives up on these islands in the sky. We can't reach them without beanstalks. Normally, at this time, I'd be selling... Oh, blah, blah, blah. You look a bit worried. I guess I'm just concerned about the other villagers. Everyone here works so hard. And I feel like the storm kind of brought us all down. I wish there was something I could do to help them out, you know? Dang, doctors hit you with the good stuff if you're seeing monkeys and not people. <laughs> Artist's menu. Paper lanterns, reeds, five. Fireflies, six. So I need reeds and fireflies. But I only have berries. What a strange painting. <laughs> I think it looks cool. One's got like a little painting. Alright. Well, I actually... Oh. It's over here. I don't think we have the right tools to remove this bamboo. Dang it. I want that treasure chest. Okay. But yeah, I guess right here is a good place to end Rakuen for the day. So next time, we'll go around the Weeble Village. Mm. Try and look all around. What? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be going on a BRB real quick. I'm gonna go make myself a, a cup of coffee. Not a cup of coffee. I don't I don't drink cup of coffee. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get myself a cup of tea because I'm kind of I'm kind of craving tea right now. <laughs> and then we'll play some Zonky Zero. Yeah, my my theory right now is the guy is dreaming, po possibly before he dies. Probably if I were to take a guess, because these games love being sad. 
So I'm gonna assume he's dreaming about all of the people from the hospital as like labels and stuff because the the paintings that uh that one girl did of the the pink cats and stuff. That's my that's my game theory. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 